And new tonight, we've learned the city is working on a new facility to help first responders who are afraid of exposing COVID-19 to their families. It would be a place they could stay while the risk remains high. Many first responders and healthcare workers are isolating themselves. They're worried about bringing germs they may encounter at work into their homes. KXAN's Alex Capriello found out what that's like for their families. And he reports on how this solution would work. It's a family affair. Elisha Zariah and her daughters Jordan and Aya are all healthcare professionals. Ever since she was younger, she's like, I want to be a nurse like you. <laughs> I caught up with them to hear what it's been like fighting COVID-19 in the hospital. It's been scary, but um, you just deal with it one day at a time. I'm sure that's just how the nation is dealing with it, just one day at a time. Not too little. <laughs> because they've come so close to positive cases, they chose to move into a hotel in Cedar Park. They say it's to protect their loved ones back home. It hasn't been easy on them. Our savings have been pretty much depleted. My husband moved out a few days ago. City Council Member Natasha Harper Madison's husband, an AFD firefighter, has also moved out. I have children that miss their father, you know. Um, but we're making the necessary sacrifices to keep everybody in our family healthy. The city says the isolation facility will be at a hotel where they can spend multiple nights. They're still finalizing that exact location. This is in addition to the 204 bed Crown Plaza Hotel designated for positive exposures. The Zariahs are also looking for other alternatives for the time being. We love our family mm -hmm. and we want them to be as safe as possible. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. City officials haven't given us a timeline on when this facility could be up and running. Council member Natasha Harper Madison also said that she would like to find a way for people with short-term rentals to offer up their properties for people to self-isolate if needed.